Hello and welcome to the PC Building Simulator Deep Dive series, where we'll cover a range of different in-game features in detail. This series is aimed to provide you with the information you need to help you get through the more complex parts of the game. I am your host, Big Jake 901 and you can find more of my content at youtube.com forward slash bigjake901, or by clicking the link in the description. In the last episode, we covered overclocking a Ryzen Threadripper CPU. If you missed that episode and you are interested in learning how to overclock a CPU, you should definitely check that episode out. In this episode, I'm going to show you how to overclock a graphics card. Today, we are in the awesome Overclockers UK workshop. Check this place out. If you don't have this DLC, it is definitely worth getting. Feels like you're you're really there. It is it is incredible. It is incredible. As I said previously, today we are going to be discussing overclocking a graphics card. While there are a couple of different methods to overclock a graphics card, the method I'm going to show you today is by far the quickest and easiest it works best on most of the cards that I tested in the game. Let's talk quickly about the PC I'll be doing this demonstration on. It has a Ryzen 9 5950X, which really doesn't matter for what we're doing here today as we're overclocking graphics cards, but it is a beast of a CPU. We also have a water-cooled RTX 2080 Ti. The entire system, in fact, is water-cooled, but you don't really need a water-cooled graphics card to overclock it. You can easily overclock an air-cooled one, and if there's time towards the end of this episode, I'm going to show you guys that this method also works on an air-cooled graphics card. Before we start overclocking, we are going to need some software installed, so let me hop over here to the monitor and show you what we need. First off, we need a 3D Mark Advanced Edition. Next, we are going to need GPU Tuner, and finally, we need OCCT. We're going to use all three of these pieces of software. So to start off with, let's run a 3D Mark test because if we're going to overclock this graphics card, we need a base score of the graphics card so we know if our overclock is actually doing anything. So I'm gonna get this running and as soon as it has a score, I will come right back. All right, there it is. So we got a total score of 12,608. Right now though, I really just wanna focus, if we scroll down here, I really want to focus on just the graphic score. So our graphic score all by itself is 12,311. And obviously we would like to see that score increase. That's the whole point in overclocking the graphics card. All right, let's close this out for now. Let's open up GPU Tuner. Let's also open up OCCT. We're going to need to use both of these pieces of software in conjunction with each other for this type of overclocking. The type of overclocking we're gonna focus on in this tutorial overclocks the core clock more than the memory clock. So what we're gonna do is we're going to overclock the core clock as far as it will go without crashing. So to start, we need to max out our core voltage. You can't fry a graphics card by maxing out the core voltage. So just take it as far as it will go and by taking it up all the way, it's going to give us the headroom that we need to overclock this graphics card as far as we can take it. When I'm overclocking, I usually move the core clock up in 50 megahertz chunks. So you'll want to move up 50 megahertz and then apply. But before we start doing any of that, we need to get OCCT up and running. So we're going to click over here where it says infinite because we don't want to just run a single test. We want this to keep running the entire time we're working on overclocking. Let's also come down here to the bottom. We're on the CPU tab. Let's go over to the GPU tab because that will then show us what our overclock ends up being. And it will also show us the current overclock versus the original clock that the graphics card was running. Well, let's go ahead and push the on button. We're gonna wait for this thing to actually start and not sit here in the waiting. So there we go, it's actually testing. We're going to watch our GPU temps go up. CPU temps should also go up. Power draw should go up. All of this, everything should go up. And once it kind of stabilizes, then we're going to start overclocking the core. So we're gonna move up in a 50 megahertz chunk. 
and hit apply. We're going to keep doing this until we get a crash. So I'm going to keep moving up. So we have, we're obviously haven't crashed yet. So let's go on up another 100 megahertz. And remember, this is a liquid cooled graphics card. So we should be able to get a really good overclock out of this. So let's go up another 50 megahertz and hit apply. So our, our temps are staying incredibly low. We may be able to max this slider out. I don't know yet. Let's see here. Let's go up to 200. All right. Let's go up to 250. We'll let this stabilize for just a moment. Let's go up to 300. And we'll hit apply. As you see, this is a very quick way to overclock a graphics card because you're constantly testing as you are doing your overclock. So let's go up to 350. There we go. And we'll hit apply. I mean, we're still only in the high 60 C degree range. All right, let's go up another 50. So now we're at 400 megahertz over the base clock. All right, let's go up to, how high will this thing go? 445. We're going to go to 445. Let's hit apply. So we are not seeing a crash, and our GPU temp is staying, still staying in the low 80C range. That's where the water cooling comes in. If this was air-cooled, I doubt we would get this high. But like I said, I think we're going to have time. We're going to do the same thing on an air-cooled graphics card. So now that we've done the core clock, Let's see if we can get anything on the memory clock. And generally, this GPU, this is pretty fast memory clock already. So I don't think we're going to be able to get too high. So I'm just going to step up in, uh, let's do 20, 20 megahertz chunks. And we'll hit apply. We'll wait for our temperature to kind of stabilize. Let's go up another 20 megahertz. So we're at 40 megahertz, and we got a crash. Our display driver crashed, so let's push P to power this down. We will push P to power it back up. Let's open GPU Tuner back up. Let's move this over here out of our way. Let's open up OCCT. And before we start OCCT back up, let's back down, because we were stable at 20 megahertz on our memory clock or at plus 20 megahertz on our memory clock. So let's go ahead and apply that before we start this up, because if you don't, it's just going to crash again on you. So let's go back to infinite test. Let's start it back up. And we're going to slowly increase our memory clock until we get a crash again. So let's let our GPU temperature stabilize. And then I'm going to jump up. Let's go 10 megahertz. Let's go up to plus 30 megahertz. We seem to be doing okay. So we know that plus 40 was too much, so let's go to plus 35. We still seem stable, so let's start bumping it up at 1 megahertz until we get a crash. So we're at plus 36. Let's go to plus 37. We're still stable. Let's go to plus 38. Oh, and we've got, a, we've got a crash. So our display driver's crashed again. Let's power it down. Let's power it back up by pushing the P button. Let's start our GPU tuner back up. And we will back this back down to plus 37 and hit apply. Let's start up OCCT one last time. Let's just let it run an automatic test because I just want to make sure that these settings are actually stable. All right, so no crash. We're at 85.95C. Let's come over here on our GPU. We have overclocked at 125.4% on the core clock and 102.1% on the memory clock. So let's close this stuff out. We are obviously stable. 
Let's start 3D Mark back up again. And I will remind you that our last score on the graphics run, I'm gonna go ahead and get this running while we talk. Our last score was 12,311. So I'm gonna let this run. If it blue screens, I will come back. And if we get to a score, I'll come back and show you guys what our new graphics score actually is. All right, so here is our combined score. We've got a 15,613. But again, we're gonna come down here and look at our graphics score. And we're at 15,804 when our previous score was 12,311. So our overclock did quite a good bit. We got a bonus of 3,493 points on our graphics score. So let's open GPU Tuner back up. So here is our max overclock for this card. All right, so let's let's back out of this system and let's go over to this system. This system has an air-cooled RTX 2080 Ti and a water-cooled i7-8086K. So let's go through this one more time. We're gonna overclock this air-cooled 2080 Ti. Let's hop over here. Let's start up 3D Mark. I'm gonna get this running. As soon as it has a score, I will come right back and show you guys what it is. All right, so there is our graphic score, 10,801. Right down here, 10,801. Again, we're not gonna pay attention to the combined score right now. We're just looking at the graphic score. So. Let's close this out. Let's open up GPU Tuner. Move that over here. Let's open up OCCT and we'll move that over here. Let's go ahead and max out our core clock. And let's hit infinite on OCCT and go ahead and turn the test on. We're going to wait for everything to kind of stabilize. I'm going to come down here to the GPU tab. And I'm going to start overclocking this in 50 megahertz chunks. You can even go up faster than that if you think the graphics card can handle it. So there's plus 50. Let's go up to plus 100. Our temperature is climbing a lot faster on this because it is an air-cooled graphics card. So let's go up to 150. Oh, I zipped right past it there. All right, there we go, 150. All right, let's go up to 200. Maybe. Maybe. There we go. 200. And again, we're, we're going up in 50 megahertz chunks and we're hitting apply. And we are testing in real time. So let's go up to 250. Man, I am zipping right past the numbers I want to stop at. All right, let's go up to 300. Let's go up to 350. Oh, man, I was almost right on the spot there. There we go, 350. Let's go up to 400. This graphics card is overclocking quite well, actually. Let's go up to 450. All right, let's go up to 500. I actually didn't think this one would go this far, so this is this is doing very well. All right, let's go up to 550. Man, we're getting up into 91C. This this isn't going to go much further. So I'm going to start doing it in 10 megahertz chunks. So let's go up to 560. We're at 92.6C. All right, let's do 570. ninety-three, 94C. Will it do 580? Doubt it will, but let's try it. 580, apply. No. No, our display driver crashed. So let's power this down by pushing P on the keyboard. Let's power this back up the same way. Startup GPU tuner.
Let's back this back down to 575 because that seems seems like a good place to start. We'll open up OCCT again. Turn it back on infinite. Let's start the test right up. We'll see what happens. Let's also go to the GPU tab. Temperature's ramping right up. So 94.85C. Let's start going up one megahertz at a time. So we're at 576. 95C. We're at plus 577. Plus 578. So we know 580 it crashed. So if it hits 579, that's going to be our max on the core clock. Because at 5, 580, we blue screened. So obviously, we're not going to try to push it to 580 again. So 579 on our core clock is as high as it goes. But that gives us an overclock of 137.1%. We started off at 1,560 megahertz. We've gone up to 2,139 megahertz. That is... That is a substantial overclock on an air-cooled graphics card. Now, the real question is, is will this take any overclock on the memory? Because again, this graphics card has fairly fast memory clock on it already. So let's just go up. Let's let's just try 5 megahertz. Because I don't know. I mean, our temp's already up there. I don't know if it's going to take much on the memory clock. Let's, nope. Blue screen. So let's power that down. We'll power it back up. So it won't even do five. Let's see if it'll even do one. Let's just drop it down to one. I'm going to hit apply. I'm just going to do an automatic test. It's going to be the easiest way because it's going to crash. If it's going to crash, it's going to crash. There we go. So we are going to be unable to overclock the memory on this card, at least with the core clock as high as it is. So we'll drop that back down to zero. I'm going to go ahead and apply it. There's no reason to run OCCT because we haven't adjusted anything else other than to drop the memory clock back down to zero. I'm gonna close this out. I'm gonna get a 3D mark up and running again. If you remember, we got a 10,801. And if this thing crashes, or if we make it all the way to the end and get a score, I will come right back and show you. All right, again, we're going to scroll down here. We're not going to really pay attention to this because we're only overclocking the graphics card. So we're going to look at the graphics score. Again, we had 10,801. We were up to 15,283. So we ended up with an increase of 4,482 points. That is not bad. That's not bad at all. And that was on an air-cooled graphics card. I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial on how to overclock a graphics card. If you did, please be sure to give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't done so already, go ahead and subscribe right here to the official PC Building Simulator YouTube channel. And ring that bell so you get notified as soon as a video goes live. Also, there are other creators making content for the official PC Building Simulator channel. Be sure to go and check out the other content here. I'm sure you will find something you enjoy. I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day, and we will see you in the next episode.